look, in terms of the longer term capacity of the entire area, we would believe that there is master planning capability into 60 million passengers with a twin runway system fully operating. And clearly, airports can be designed to grow in, in a variety of ways. Um, I think people, people even in this committee have sometimes referred to what you're referring to Pier D. It's now called the 100 gates, but um, as a terminal, it, it's, a, it's a pier. My I remember being attacked when it was being built yeah, unnecessary, my, along with T2 yeah. being unnecessary. You know, my expectation, although there are multiple options that can be considered over time, is that the eastern side of the airport, the existing airport, will still be the locus for arriving to and from the airport, and somewhat similar to, for example, Heathrow, where there are extended piers um, in accessed either uh, by road or by, um, by, by rail or where you might board the aircraft. So if we're talking about extending the existing footprint, there is, we, we've certainly gone through the process of identifying while there are other options, there is sufficient capacity ultimately to develop out the airport to that scale. And but that would need additional terminals or add-ons to T1 and T2. It, it, it needs additional passenger processing capacity and aircraft processing stands and and the ability then to access the runways but you would, on either you side. would see them as being kind of extensions and further extensions to T1 and T2 as opposed to a T3? Uh, or, or a T3 beside T1 no, and T2? I, I don't see... A, I, I, I don't believe, and, and we've studied this, that a, an independent separately presented... Uh, I mean, independently standing uh, terminal elsewhere it will be the ultimate option particularly when you have a single metro connection to the airport